Alright, let's get rid of this copyrighted music because yeah. that's a thing. <sighs> yeah, so we got new jobs. Uh, I know we've been talking about it for a while, but um, I think by this time you guys have seen the new video post about our new jobs and stuff. Yeah, we're really excited. So, life update. Um, we sold our house. Yay! It was... We're homeless! <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was kind of nerve-wracking. It took a lot longer than we thought, but you know, we're just happy we got an offer So we're headed to the U-Haul place where everybody in this town rents stuff uh, Just to get measurements and see what's going on. I'm pretty sure we can keep everything So I'm, I'm optimistic. I remember those trailers are a lot bigger than um, What you think that they are on the inside, so Hopefully. All right, so the trailers are way too small. Uh, these are not big. These are not as big as we remember they were. Like, yeah, they're nice. They're just not as quite as big as I remember. So we're gonna go get a price on a truck. Nope. Nope. They wanted like three thousand dollars for the truck and the trailer is like three thousand dollars to rent it. That's just for not the week. Purchasing the vehicle. Yeah. That is renting so the vehicle. We're gonna crunch some numbers. There's another place in town we're gonna go quote. I uh, was not expecting it to be this much because I really thought it's we like could all fit it all or nothing the too. It's like tiny trailer or like massive three thousand dollar truck. Right. The trailer's only a couple hundred dollars for the week, but the big truck is several Thousands. thousand. So uh Next I, This is not what we had in mind. We were Maybe gonna Maybe it's time to invest in a trailer? We were gonna take a nice video of the trailer and like draw boxes on it and just like have it all like magically appear and be full. Uh, that was that was our great idea for the video, but now we gotta figure something else out. Okay, so we just got back from the other truck rental place. They kind of wanted about the same amount for as far as we're going and as long as we need the truck. I, I just don't know what we're gonna do. This is not what we had the budget for. Um, we just thought it was going to be a few hundred bucks for the trailer and that was going to be it. So I just looked it up on my phone. I remember my dad growing up, we had like a, I don't know, like a 17 foot uh, enclosed trailer that my dad kept some stuff in. Those are like six grand. That's like half the price of what it's going to be to rent the truck. And I think that we can use the trailer for the business to do like larger deliveries and stuff. I know we have a pickup truck, but with a trailer, we'd just be able to throw the table in and deliver it. I don't know. I just. I'm not ready to spend $6,000 on a trailer. Um, I don't know, what do you think? I mean, we've talked about a trailer before, but... I mean, it's like, if we were to move anywhere afterwards, like if we wanted to move to an, another state or we wanted to open the business somewhere else, like we'd just be moving again and we're gonna have the same amount of furniture. We do two moves, that's $3,000 each time for a truck and we're only gonna accumulate more stuff. So that already adds up to six grand, which is the price of one trailer that would also get us through two moves. What we can do is we can just sell it when we get down down there. If yeah. we're not gonna use it. Which I feel like those are pretty coveted after. I don't yeah. know, like, like nice trailers. I don't know, I feel like I see those in people's yards all the time. <laughs> like in their driveway, I don't know. Yeah. Um, Maybe they use like the tiny trailers. Yeah, as long as we could get our money, most of our money back. Cause like, think about it. Like if we bought the trailer for $6,000 brand new, we would have to take less than $4,000 for the trailer to break even. No, no, less than that, $3,000. Yeah. Literally, if we get half our money back out of the trailer, it's just like we rented it. Yeah. Um. Back up. No, go this. No. Ta da! Ta da! This is our new trailer. We're as surprised as you are. Uh, yeah. The other day when we went to the U Haul place, they wanted half the price of this trailer. We're gambling that we can sell the trailer for at least half of what we bought it for. But well, it shouldn't be too difficult if we're not using it too much. We're literally driving from North Dakota down to the south, unloading it, and then selling it. So, are you ready to start loading? No. Oh well. <laughs> well, Jenny's at work tomorrow. I've got to start packing the garage. That's the last thing that we haven't yeah. started packing yet. The house is pretty much empty and packed up. 
So I guess tonight we'll start loading boxes into the trailer and then tomorrow, once we clean out the garage. I'll have to really pack up the trailer and see how it all goes. <laughs> anyway, so not super happy that I had to spend that much money, but it is what it that's is. Right. Uh, if we don't get rid of it though, it's not gonna kill us. Anything else you wanna say? Nope, that's it. I guess the next time you'll see us, we'll be packing or loading stuff or moving or something. <laughs> We're moving. Ready, ready, here. So the coolest transition ever. Everybody on YouTube's doing it. So take your hand and you're gonna go right into the lens and cover it up and it's gonna go black. Oh, cool. One, two, three, go. Whoosh. No, you didn't, it's gotta go black all the way. Okay, so we just loaded all the boxes we had packed into the trailer. And it's still not big enough. It's like, I, what are we gonna do? There's not enough room. Um, we're just gonna have to get rid of a lot of stuff. So I know we can rebuild the majority of kind of what we have, so that's not a huge deal, but it's just gonna be a matter of like getting rid of it and getting the money that we want for it, because obviously it's not free to build, but it's gonna be like deciding what stuff we wanna keep what couches we want to keep, if any. We don't have time to like sell everything. Not the way that we would normally sell it, no. So what do, what do we just start throwing stuff up on Facebook and see if our friends want to buy it? Because I know a lot of our friends, especially that kitchen table, people have been asking us if we're going to keep that. Yeah, lots of people want our kitchen table. No, definitely not Facebook Marketplace. Like if we have friends who want it, I'd say give it to them first because at least it's going to a good home. If you're not going to get what it's worth out of it, at least it's going to go to somebody who would really, really appreciate it. What if we just did an auction? We're just like, hey, you bid on no, this no, 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 one. No, 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 like not, no, not like that. Like, what if we just had a, what if we just hosted a party? And, and then, it's just like a silent auction. And yeah. Like, bid on my stuff. Yeah, we yeah. could just put like a piece of paper But it'd have to have every... like a starting bid so people can be like, oh, I'll give you $2 for this kitchen table. Not that any of our friends would do that, but you know what yeah I mean? what if we just had each piece of furniture just had a piece of paper on it yeah and people would just go around and we just put like an hour time limit on it and then at the end of the night like you had to pay before you go that could work the only thing this furniture really cost us was just cost of materials yeah and labor so i'm not really worried about making a profit i just want to break even so that when we get down there we can build it all again right now okay we well uh oh i don't know you want to get on facebook and make a post for everybody yeah. and then Perry. Perry thing. I'm helping pack. <sighs> Thanks, Perry. So today's been a long time coming. Uh, not super excited about this. The house is pretty much packed up. It looks kind of empty and gross and weird. But we've been holding off to put the shop in boxes. And we had a few small projects we wanted to finish up before we started tearing stuff down. I've got two friends on the way right now. They're gonna, I think one of them's gonna pick up our bandsaw and then maybe a couple other tools, especially the benches, because we're not taking any of those. So I guess that leads me right into what we're doing with the house move as far as the shop is concerned. Um, we're getting rid of all of our tables and basically anything out of wood. Uh, we're just gonna keep our tools and we're gonna pretty much start from scratch when we show up uh, down south. The idea for this next year is really gonna be a lot of experimentation. We're gonna try to like boil down everything that we do and find the best tool uh, we're gonna buy several versions of different tools from the most popular manufacturers and we're just gonna see what works best and then once we get a good arsenal of tools lined up from a business perspective we're gonna just start knocking out jobs and expanding and growing from there so but basically we're gonna keep everything we're gonna use it and make sales but we're gonna also be in the process of like upgrading everything into the best version of each tool and then uh, maybe buy multiples of those because once we start hiring employees, this I'm hoping this business can really take off. So I don't wanna have employees standing around waiting on, oh, well, he's got the good sander and I don't wanna use it. No, we're gonna have 30 of the good sander and there's no reason to stand around and wait.
know you're a YouTuber when literally your entire house is empty. Like you're sleeping on a mattress on the floor. However, your entire editing station is still up. Nothing's packed. Tower, monitors, everything. Camera's still out, tripods out. It was just one of those funny moments where I'm like, really, my entire fridge is packed. My mattress is on the floor. I don't even know if I have like towels for the next two days, but thank goodness our editing station is still down here and our ginormous monitor is still available for use. I have no bed. I have the world's largest monitor. It's She's it. full. We had to get rid of so much so stuff. So much stuff. Like literally all of our furniture. Yeah. There's, there's only two um, or three pieces we're keeping. We're not taking any couches. We sold those and we're just gonna rebuy them when we get down there. All we're taking are like mattresses. Yeah, we kept nightstands. nightstands. We kept those, that was nice. All right, so we're gonna go over what tools we kept and what tools we didn't keep and why. Because so. we definitely like the stuff we had in the house. We didn't have enough room to keep everything in the garage either. As much as we would have loved to do that, we just could not make it happen. So then that poses the question, what didn't you keep and why? Where are our priorities? in in the tools i guess we started woodworking as a hobby not as a business mm -hmm. so a lot of the tools that we had were the cheapest tool available yep. uh what's the minimum i need to spend to get the job done yeah. and then maybe a year ago we started actually buying tools with the mindset of a business of like i don't want to even have to question like if my tool is good enough, I just yeah. want to be able to buy the tool, do the job, and get paid. And it's paid. not going to fail me, you know. Right, and so we were sort of in the process of swapping all our tools out. So, the tools we got rid of, the first thing is we got rid of the bandsaw. Um, that one, it was just big, it wasn't that great of a bandsaw. We didn't use it all that often. And when, yeah, and when we did use it, we used it exclusively for resawing, which that bandsaw was not it the best one to do. did not do a great job. Yeah, so we got rid of the, the big uh, Harbor Freight dust collector. Mm -hmm. It's just, it took up too much floor space. The motor, and it was affordable to get again. Right, I sold it for a hundred bucks, so I got half my money back out of it, and it's stupid easy to go down to the next Harbor Freight and yeah. buy a new one. Got um, rid of the drill press. Drill press was just too small and underpowered. It was one of those little bench top models. Again, we didn't use it that often, but when we needed a drill press, we wanted a bigger one. Yeah. So, you know, we might get a floor standing model when we move down south. But yeah, we just got rid of things that we were going to upgrade soon or that just we'd never used. We are taking yeah. the miter saw station just because it was so convenient to pack around. Getting that saw dialed in perfectly level with the top of the table is a really painstaking task. And when we get down there and we get ready to build stuff, yeah. the last thing that I want to be doing is on my hands and knees in the driveway with a miter saw trying to build another miter saw station. I just want to right. be able to break down dimensional lumber very quickly, throw some tables and together. And it's like, what do you use the most in pretty much any project? And for us, that was the miter saw. Yeah, so. everything pretty much packed well. The uh, uh, mm -hmm. All the hand tool wall fit all in one box. Yep. Most of our like power tools like fit in there in like one or two boxes. We even put the planer in a big cardboard box, and we had plenty of stuff the to pack around it. The track saw has its own box. We had maybe ten boxes worth of tools, yep. and the house was maybe what another 20, 25, 30 boxes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, all in all, like as much time and effort as we spent here in the garage, it really didn't take up that much space in the trailer. So that was really good yep. that we got to hold on to the tools. Um, I think that was worth sacrificing some of the house furniture for. If you follow us on Instagram, you probably saw that we were doing a garage sale. Yeah. Um, so go follow us on Instagram right there if you want to stay up to date with us in real time. But and that was good. We made a lot of good money on that. We made a too. lot of good money that day. Um, we made a lot of good money on the auction, like all the furniture yeah, in the house. Yeah, that we was made, really good. We made like what twenty five hundred bucks. Um, and then just selling other stuff here and there. Like a lot of it we burned to Goodwill just because we don't need it and it's going to take up space. Yeah, literally everything we didn't sell at the garage sale. It just we went straight up, to Goodwill. <laughs> put it straight to Goodwill. Or the like, we do not Army. have time <laughs> yeah. to sell this again. Some stuff we did like Facebook Marketplace some because stuff we're not leaving here for another month but we got to be out of the house by yeah. the end of this week so yeah. we're pretty well packed up the only thing that's left is the bed and the editing station so that i can make yep. this video and the mm -hmm. next one and the next one even though we didn't get to keep everything which is a huge bummer i'm still optimistic like we made enough money that we're gonna be able to buy it yeah. all again and then build it all and again. like it's part of the experience like we're just so excited to be going where we're going it's like yeah it's a bummer and it sucks to get rid of all your couches and stuff but like when it comes down to it, we're still going. Like we're leaving, right. we're going, we're moving, it's exciting. So as much as we're like, ah, gotta get rid of the kitchen table, we're like, 
got to get rid of the kitchen table so that we can leave. The most important part is like what you end the sentence with. So we and can there's a lot of go stuff do new too. things. A lot of stuff that we sold, like that was the first projects we ever made before we yeah, ever thought about doing so a business a or sentimental. anything. But like they were way overbuilt. They were terrible, terrible designs, mm -hmm. terrible style in some of in some cases. Yeah. I think that's about it. Yeah. We're, uh, we're still gonna be in town. We're still gonna be putting out content. Yep. So, you know, don't think that we're not gonna be posting any videos. We've we've saved up content yeah. for the next couple of months till we, we knew get this moved in coming. and settled. And we're gonna like, we're gonna do more like moving stuff too. So, yeah. yeah, so until then, we're just gonna be living with friends, crashing on their couch and uh, playing a lot of golf.